welcome back to another video and today we are going to be doing a skincare video yes i'm attempting this for the very first time in my life i usually don't do skincare because i was blessed with good skin but i've been looking like crap lately so let's get into it so i didn't like how bushy my brows have been for a while i have a party coming up so i was like you know what let's just try something we saw on tiktok so yeah i didn't like all these spots all these sweat glands i didn't like it honestly i did not like it so yeah we'll be using a uh, mascara wine to just like yeah then we have like a concealer brush then we have vips for delicate skin then we have black face mask charcoal mask then we have cotton pads and we have shea butter yeah <laughs> then we have scissors just to trim and my broken mirror so let's get into it so yeah here i am aggressively brushing down the hair strands of my brows so that i'll be able to like trim it properly to be very honest this is my first time doing this i was so scared because if i mess this thing up i would look like a clown for this party like it's not even be funny so i was just trying to go gently i was brushing up brushing down to make sure that i had trimmed any excess hairs and you know i found this on tiktok i was like you know let me try and see if it's cap or if it's nice or if it's gonna go well so here i am brushing and i'm going to get to the other side real soon i was just trimming at first it wasn't coming out as well as nice as i wanted it to go oh well i was just trusting the process so please trust the process trust the process trust the process <laughs> so at this point i was still trimming i wanted to get nice angles i don't know what i was doing here but i was just like you know what let's just trust the process so we're on the other side i was aggressively brushing this thing like i don't even understand i wasn't brushing my teeth it was just my eyebrows anyways and i'm also doing the same thing i did on the other side on this side but i kind of feel like this side actually looks better than the other side let me know in the comment section So here, this was my first time ever attempting this vid hack that I saw on TikTok. So the goal is to get nice, clean um, arc. Like it's going to keep above and below your eyebrows very, very clean and neat. So all you need is a concealer applying brush. I really don't know the name of this brush. If you know the name of this brush, please just put it in the comments. Let's learn together. So you're just going to apply nice thin coats layers of vids above and beneath and kind of like act as if you're applying concealer, actual concealer. So yeah, here's me doing the other side. Again, I feel this side that I'm doing right now is neater and better than the other side. Let me know in the comment section. I don't know, is it only me that has issues with like one brow looking better than the other brow? It was so annoying. But anyways here i am attempting and i was just hoping that it was going to work because if my brow should fry mm. okay so at this point we went to clean it off and i'm like <gasps> oh my god <laughs> Mr. Baba was shocked it actually came out really really nice really really nice i liked it and we went to wash okay so i just realized that all this while while i was recording I wasn't recording with my back camera. It was recording my phone's camera. So it was recording outside of my room. I know what I was doing. And this is another reason why most times I just feel like YouTube is not for the faint hearted. Like, why? <laughs> why me? <laughs> anyway, so from the last clip, I had washed off the vids from my eyebrows and I went to wash it with water, wash my face off with water. I had used um, tweezers to trim the excess that was there and I still went on with my um, whatever they call this mascara wind to brush it up and use scissors to still trim 
a bit to my satisfaction mind you this is the very first time i think i would have mentioned it in like the voiceover first time i'm doing this in my life i saw it on tiktok and i was like oh it's true my brows have been bushy so let me try and do it you understand let's see how it looks like let's see if it is true or not so that's it so after washing off my face for this um charcoal mask to work apparently i actually stole this from my boyfriend's house because he wasn't using it <laughs> because he was not using it and i'm like ah this is not using it now let me call it was like, okay no problem so yeah that is how i possessed it i don't know where he bought it from and this thing has stained my bed sheets what a day really what a day content creation is not for the faint-hearted i promise you and this bed sheet is new i will just go put it in the laundry basket so yeah um i applied it i made sure it was a nice coat on my face i'm looking at the mirror oh my god it even stained my ear what the hell is going on like okay so back to what i was saying um while this dries because you have to let it dry then it will get so solidified that you'll be able to move your face then you like peel it off so i'm trying to get like one peel and see how it goes so while that's drying what should we really talk about i've had a few people ask me why have i not gone for nyc so now let me ask that question and yes, some people actually reached out to me on Instagram and was like, oh my god, I'm, I've graduated, when am I going for NYC? I have had some family members ask me, I've had some church members ask me, why have I not gone for NYC? Oh my god, like, to be very honest, I just, I don't like, personally, right from that, I don't like following trends, like, it's not a trend, but people are saying, oh my god, it's mandatory, oh my god, your mates are doing it, why are you not doing it? Who? See? I wanted to just rest first and foremost the initial plan was just to rest first and foremost after school like school was stressful for me so i wanted to rest but then when i was not telling my parents oh, i wanted to apply i wanted to apply they were like oh i have to wait till after election and my school decided to just really pull a fast one on me and um i'm one that used to pay my fees you understand my father is not the richest i mean like i don't say i stay in the fanciest place but i have roof over my head and like i can't say oh my father is a banker he has like a steady income job you understand or my mother the same thing like they both hustle they both provide for us they ensure that we went to the best schools and i want to get comfortable My school put a fast on on me and said I was owing a particular amount of money. And to be very honest, like even though I wasn't always the first person to pay my school fee because of how much it was and the fact that my parents are not steady income earners, like we we'll always pay like half and pay the half before the semester is ended. And anyways, that's a story for another day. And it wasn't really easy financially to see myself through school. And my parents really tried and i'm really grateful for that so apparently they said when there was increment of school fee one semester i didn't pay the increment and i have like a huge amount <laughs> to pay up before i get my certificate so yeah that's the reason so and i have other siblings in school you understand so i can't be selfish they also have to go to school and they're also in private universities so they also have to go to school even though my father has that money now like he has to sort my siblings out first before me so that's the reason so i hope everybody will rest now and not really like poke me when it comes to like nysc like when the money is paid i will get my degree and i would go for the nysc so for now also the reason why another reason apart from that too i recently transitioned from what I wanted to do to something else. So that's tech, UI, UX design, product designing, conclusion. So like I've been taking courses, studying, practicing day and night. So I don't think I would have, anyway, God has his reasons. I don't think I would have been able to um, juggle NYSE and that at the same time. So I think with that being said, my, is dry. Ooh.
I don't think I'm going to get a one pillar today, sadly. But let's see how this goes. If you, you, you like skin. I have a party tomorrow. My friend is graduating. If you know my friend, Tommy. She's graduating. And I'll be attending. So I didn't want to look like what I was going through because for the past few weeks, ah, ow, ah, ow, ah, ow, 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 I've been going through a lot emotionally. Like, I've been going through a lot emotionally. Like, I've been so emotionally unavailable. Like, for anything, I have cried. I cried a lot last week. So I was like, you know what? Let's just do skincare. <laughs> So I think that one isn't dried up oh, properly. Ow, 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 ow. Wait, can you hear this? Ah! <laughs> Sorry. actually do that to get all the particles on. Oh wow. I promise you I never knew this. Ooh. So I think I have to go wash this off. Oh my god, it got into my eyebrow. <laughs> I just walked on to make it. So let's go wash this off. Okay, so it's been washed off. Yeah, it's been washed off. I like how the brows are looking. They are looking less bushy. And um, it's time for the shea butter. To be very honest, you can just use any shea butter of your choice. You can even get the ones they sell on the roadside. I think it's 15 naira they sell it. So you don't need much. I'm not going anywhere. I just want to hydrate my skin as very much um, moisturize my skin because I've washed it. Shea butter actually helps me a lot. It helps a lot of my family members. So I'm like, you know what? Let's just use what we know. Since I don't have money for expensive skincare, worry, worry, we will get there. We will get there. So. Okay, so now that I have rubbed it in, it kind of feels better and I think I look much better. So that's the end of this video. I hope you liked it. I hope you enjoyed my skincare journey. I do this most times like once in every two months, but it depends on how bad I feel like I am looking. So yes, we don't have the most expensive skincare over here, but don't worry, God is gonna provide for us. We'll start buying something like ordinary, like colic acid, all those blah blah blah, all those things. Sarah V, you know, very soon we'll start buying them, we'll start using them, and you know, I'll start recommending stuff for you. But yeah, I think the thing I can recommend is that face mask. It's really nice, like it makes it made my face feel smooth and all the like so yeah that's the end of this video thank you so much for watching please don't forget to like share and subscribe please recommend skincare products for dark skin people like me and see you again next time bye, -bye.